hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is graduation and today has been a very intense day for me honestly because i've been going through a series of different emotions happiness sadness anger you know because of everything that's going on obviously we all know what it is coronavirus so everything has come to a standstill and it's ridiculous because it's a global pandemic we all know that but until it hits home and starts to affect your livelihood you don't really think much about it you think about it but you don't ponder over it you know and we literally couldn't have the whole semester but thankfully we got to finish our degrees online my whole thing is i didn't get to say goodbye the way the way i wanted to say goodbye to my professors to the people that have made my time here so memorable i had a thank you card that i wanted to write i never got to write that so that was very emotional for me honestly and and like i'm i i when this whole thing started i didn't have to like there was no need for me to brood over it because i still had work i had to submit i don't have i'm the type of person i don't like to dwell on negative emotions because it's draining it takes a lot of energy out of you to sit there to be sad to be depressed and i don't like to feel that way you know so i'm just i like i obviously try and overcome it i'm working i'm working i'm trying to keep myself busy i'm trying to keep my mind busy so i don't think about it and what was i trying to keep myself busy with with obviously my academics now that's over with and all those emotions are coming back to me today i've cried i've cried about six times today i cried at, at dawn when i woke up i cried when denise and Loretta were leaving i cried i came back to my room i cried i napped for a minute i cried i haven't slept that much i've slept for only two hours in total because i couldn't sleep and like i go in and out of sleep so i couldn't sleep for like after 30 minutes i wake up i'm awake like so i've slept for about two hours in total and it's it's ridiculous this whole thing is absurd and obviously some people may say that it's selfish of me to be sad about it because people are dying over this pandemic i get that i'm i like i'm not disputing that fact right but it's also like if you work so hard for something and you've been looking forward to something for years and it doesn't come into fruition you have every right to be disappointed that's how i feel because I've seen the Mahole traditions, they are very beautiful. I've experienced it with every class that was before me when I like when I first came. I've seen every class do these traditions and it's something that I was looking forward to big time. I had a like a, a like a vision of my outfits, of my makeup, of my hair. None of that. None of that. Great Corona said no. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Cut the cameras. That is. and it's, it's ridiculous you know and so to anybody i think to the seniors especially for people who say that it's unfair for you to be sad about graduation because people are dying i think it's also unfair for people to expect you not to be selfish you know i feel like human beings generally we have a little bit of selfishness in us but you are entitled to feel the way you feel you know because you are the only person who is experiencing that you're the only person who is going through those series of emotions during that time but i just want to encourage somebody and tell you that it's okay everything is going to work out. i say that to myself a lot of the time i don't know what that means i would never understand what that means i always say don't worry about it everything is going to work out it's going to be perfect i don't know what that means i don't know what perfection means i don't know what everything working out means but i'm just trusting and believing that god will have to do it because i literally last night told god that listen if you don't come and work something else it's not going to be done because where my life is going i don't like it i want some direction i want some peace of mind i want some joy and it's not like i don't have joy and that like right now i feel like my i've been robbed of my joy 
and I guess it, it, it shows you like obviously they say you have to put your like your you have to put you have to trust in God and you have to put your entire life into his hands and if God is the foundation of your life you shouldn't be robbed of your joy but i'm a human being i'm i'm a human being like it's not i think that a tendency for me i speak for myself for me to take things into my own hands it's very high and so i try to control as much as i try to control things as much as i can for the things i cannot control i let go of it and so i've come to realize that this whole corona pandemic the most i can control is my academic by doing the work and submitting it but everything else literally is like i've left it to god i'm trusting him i'm trusting him for protection for myself for my family because honestly you like you just never know where you can go and contract it who you will be in contact with all of those things and you know like it is listen I think that even my wants is telling you my state of mind right now it's not like I'm not stable but I'm just my mind is like a is there a ferris wheel it's just going round and round because I cannot fathom listen I cannot fathom this whole thing and the fact that my or like all my girls are leaving or they've left i'm experiencing pain i'm in severe pain like i'm experiencing headache that's what it is but yeah as i said i want to encourage somebody that everything is going to work out like i look at my life and i realize that I mean I've always known that without God I wouldn't be where I am and he's the one who has kept me he's kept my family he's provided for me he's provided for my parents and if he has provided like if he's provided in the major decisions or he's given me direction in the major decisions of my life for instance from junior high school to senior high school from senior high school to college if he's done all of these for things for me why would he not provide when it comes to college to like finding a job grad school things like that i know he's definitely going to provide but as human beings you know sometimes you let doubts sink in seep in and i obviously i won't say that like i don't doubt i hundred percent i doubt i doubt i doubt because i'm a human being i just don't feel like god's <laughs> god's timing you know we have our time and when we want things to happen but i always have to remind myself and people have to remind me that god's timing may not be my timing but his timing is perfect timing you know and so that's what i am i am resting like that's 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 what is keeping me calm that his timing is perfect timing he does everything and per like he's a perfect God and so I need to trust I need to have faith and I am his child I am his child and he's not going to watch me waste away it's never going to happen children of God don't waste away so well, that's one thing I know it's not going to happen children of God they inject success into our veins and so I'm not going to sit here and be a failure it's never my portion it would never be even though I don't see where my life is or the direction in which my life is going i know that god is working behind the scenes and in due time he will reveal it to me and sometimes god has to blind your eyes because if he shows you where you are going you will sabotage yourself you know because you could tend to be overconfident and think that you don't need him all of those things and so i get that right now i feel very blinded i i can't see anything like but um i am trusting god i'm believing god and i know that obviously with prayer with the support of my family and friends which i am listen i am extremely grateful for because i cannot imagine having people that don't support me having people that don't love me the way they do honestly my friendship group a1 i they are just superb people and they are so thoughtful i will get emotional just thinking about it but before i go i just want to end with a memory verse that says jesus looked at them and said 
with man it is impossible but not with god for all things are possible with god and so class of 2020 and everybody who is experiencing this experiencing hard times right now remember with god all things are possible human beings will promise and fail but god's god does not promise and fail god's love like God's love is endless, God's love is abundance, and so that's what I am trusting in. That's what my like. That's what I'm putting my faith. I'm putting my faith entirely in God and in no human being because God can change human beings' minds. You, do you understand what I'm saying? And so, if you're depending on a human being to be successful, if you're depending on a human being, human being to take you where you need to go, you have to just take a 180 and just turn, turn, turn around. And like, I believe in God. I'm a Christian. Not everybody believes in God, and that's okay. Do you? This is what has kept me sane. This is what has kept me over the years. And so, I'm just praying for class of 2020. I'm praying for peace of mind in this storm. I'm praying for clarity. I'm praying for direction. I'm praying for protection. I'm praying for grace, for favor. <sighs> I'm praying for strength to keep pressing on, to keep pushing forward because God will not bring you this far to disappoint you. Absolutely no. It's no one that he's not a God of disappointment. And so please keep the faith alive in terms of dealing with negative emotions. I encourage you to address them as soon as possible because if you let them pile up, it comes like a storm or like a flood and it just comes all at once and that you'll be crying about six times a day you are just wondering what is going on and so yeah just keep the faith alive trust and believe that he who has brought you this far will surely bring it to a perfect end will surely bring it to a perfect completion and so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video i know I look tired because I am. I look restless <laughs> because I am. But I'm believing that everything will work out. And I'm believing that God will keep us through this pandemic, through this corona times. And so, yeah. Bye.